now they'll look to switch it. So they're building the phases. And at the moment, all the Māori have had to do in this game is tackle and tackle. And now they have to beat the retreat as Charlie Hodgson kicks into some space. And Robbie Robinson coming across. That's gone at a touch, is it? England claiming a try. It's a try. Fantastic start. Excellent attack from England. We're going to go to the, the end of this. And it looked like it was drifting towards the touchline and was going to roll out. Now, was Ashton's foot out of play as he towed that ball in? Definitely, I don't think the ball went out. I think the ball stayed in play, but if he was on the outside of the touchline when he kicked it, then he should. Then the ball should be adjudged to be out. He's kept his foot in. Oh, that is unbelievable. <laughs> All England at the moment. Well, he leaves the field as Charlie Hodgson looks to restore the advantage. Another high kick, and this one's off the post. And Hayden Triggs tidies it up. McAllister gets it away to Robbie Robinson. Not great following up from England, and now a chance to break out. Here's McAllister, back in field to Carl Lowe. And now the crowd finds its voice. Opportunity now. Big pass across field to Jose Gere. Oh. Bumps off Strettle. Still going Gear. Still going. Oh, what a wonderful try. I thought that pass needed to go, but he bumped off Tate. And look at the acceleration. And Tate is no slouch either in the fend. What a finish. That's, that has lit this park up. Touch. Pause. Engage. Wait, nine. And, well, not good work there from Danny Kerr. It's been pinched by Aaron Smith. And off goes Stephen Britt for the Māori. Looking to link up. He gets it away to Liam Messam. Can he get there? just about whether or not he went into touch. Oh, he's got a foot on the line. No, that's the English player with a yep. foot on the line. Nowhere near. That's a fair try. Now they come back the other way to Messam. Shape to pass, driving ahead. Quick ball. Off it goes to Brett. Little stab kick through. Dangerous. Yeah, Noticed that there was nothing in behind. Luke McAllister, I thought, was the one who was going to get there first, but Gear came from the outside. 22 full caps and finds Parling. Good counter drive again from the Māori. And they're holding them up well and truly. And someone in there has got his hands on it. see Liam Messam reaching through there. They could get a turnover here. Oh, no, England have managed to smuggle it back, but they've lost ground. Not quite sure how they've managed to... Well, now he's got a penalty. And I think they were well and truly held up. But anyway, on play goes and Kerr snooping. Danny Kerr. Well, they were going backwards at the mall. They got a penalty out of it somehow. And this fella here is like greased lightning. And he's put England back in front. It, it was a, a penalty. You can see him go here. And look at the acceleration through the gap. And he just gets a little bit of a push. Look to get it wide. Some numbers out here too. Gear moves it on. Here's Hay Hayden Triggs and Corey Flynn stampeding down the left wing. Good clean out from the Māori. Gear gets it away to Brett. Now out to McAllister. Floating the ball. Oh. Intercept. And Charlie Hodgson. Robbie Robinson comes at him. Gets it away. And Chris Ashton goes in for the try. Oh, nicely read by Hodgson. And that is a real blow on time struck by England. Hodgson just decides he's going to come up. Look at the Maori players that were on the outside. So the opportunity was there. The, the, the best thing about it when I initially saw it was that it was Charlie Hodgson. He's not renowned for his speed. The problem for the Maori was the person who loomed up on his outside to support him is very quick in Ashton. And away it goes to Stephen Brett and just a chance there to put Luke McAllister into the, break, into the gap. Breaks a couple of tackles. And here it comes for Smith. Off to Brett. They'll look to get it wide to Gear. Jose Gear. Oh, he's unbelievable. They're just unstoppable force at the moment. And he split them open. Jose Gear has just done him for gas. Absolute acceleration. Yeah, well, uh, absolutely right. And he just stepped off his right foot there. They did have numbers out wide, the Murray side, but there was a lot of questions being asked there amongst that English defence. The gap did seem way too wide. And Maitland decides to put it high. He's done that pretty nicely too. Robbie Robinson goes up after it. And, uh, well, Danny 
Rather, uh, Charlie Hodgson just let it go. I don't think he's well, Charlie Hodgson. I don't think he knows what's going on out there at the moment. And uh, the Maori, well, they thought they had it. England have got it. Charlie Hodgson just out there at the moment doing the don't panic. But he doesn't look too flash. He and Armitage, complete miscommunication there. They're lucky to get away with it. Now the Maori counter-attack, uh, counter-rucking. And they've got it, and it's Messam, the captain. Off he goes, Liam Messam. They will not want to concede turnover ball, England, because they could get badly burnt. Hayden Triggs now, chance to get it wide. All the numbers in the world. Get up. See you later. He's got a hat-trick. This was a pass that needed to be made. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, take a bow, Hayden Triggs. <laughs> he had to pick it up from behind him and then sent a lovely pass with English defence coming up at him. And they've got it. And they get it out of there and Messam fires it away to Stephen Brett on it. Goes to McAllister, running onto it confidently and getting through the first tackle and still going McAllister. Oh, what a great time to intercept for David Strettle. And now he's been caught and England might have a chance to run this out. Straight up the middle goes Robshaw. Well, this match is taking the breath away and now Robshaw splitting them with tackles. Now cutting back in field is Ashton. Latimer has a glance, one way then the other, and uh, oh, oh, right tackle made on Dane Coles by his opposite number, Rob Webber. Welcome to the game. <laughs> That's a stunning hit from Webber, the wasp man stinging him. But they've still got it. And Afiaki sets it up on the 22, Tapuna. They've got numbers away to the right here, Coles gets Great it back pass. to McAllister. Luke McAllister pops it up. Close, but not over yet. England, I think, have got it. They have. And Danny Kerr wriggles away with it, puts it into touch, but all so close. Back it goes, and Reaper will just slam it. Although he slipped as he kicked the ball away, didn't get any power on the kick. And Garrity's back to field it. He goes looking for some space. Boots it all. Oh, he's got too much on that, has he? No. Maitland. Took it in close to the touchline. Off he goes. Spotted a couple of forwards. And so he set sail into midfield. And it's there for rookie Tapuna. Willie Reapier this time putting a chip ahead. McAllister's got it. Puts another kick in. Gears after it. Bit of pushing and shoving. And getting it across and saving England for the moment is David Strettle. Back it goes to Reapier. And he smashes it into the air. Coming forward to take it, and oh, taking it well too brilliantly is Foden. He's broken them open. Ben Foden puts the kick ahead, and that's going to go too far as well. Well, he did it so well, but he just put too much on the kick. Armitage was after it. He's absolutely brilliant on the counter-attack. You say 10s can't tackle? No, I did. Watch Reapier. Bang. Desperation time now. Foden. They know to wrap him up. Didn't hold him in the tackle. Oh, great work from Foden. England's throwing everything at them. On it goes. Haskell. They bat it on. Garrity. Now scooped up up wide. Here's a chance for Ward Smith. Close to the touchline, but not out. Eight metres from the line, England. They come again. Garrity. Good tackle. Hit in the tackle by McAllister. Great tackle. Fantastic game of rugby.